Uh, we are going to try something with the dark side with you right now. And what I want you to do is think of somebody that you know who's passed away, who is on, let's say, the other side, mm -hmm. and also the age that they were when they passed on. And bring back all the emotions associated with that person. In other words, also what they look like and uh, you know, perhaps okay. the type of personality that they had. Okay. Now, very often spiritualists and psychics uh, in older times and even in modern day times, uh, they use various implements, tools, to contact the other side. And we are going to try an experiment using those now. Um, Okay. I've got these. Uh, these are known as spirit slates, but really they're just kind of child's slates uh, for writing with, with chalk and so on. And we're going to use these with you right now. So okay. I want you to just go ahead and put your initials on that slate for me, because in a moment your eyes will be closed. And I want you to know when your eyes are closed that I can't swap those or change them in any way. Does that okay. make sense to you? Yeah. Okay, do the other side as well there. Just go ahead and... Uh, there we go. Okay. And I'm going to take this piece of chalk and place it between the slates. Uh, let's get that in there. Okay, and you'll hold on to both of these and your eyes will be closed, but not okay. yet. Don't close your eyes. You yeah. need to hold on to those with just one hand if you can, so maybe like that. Just one just hand. Just one hand, okay. Yeah, so okay. either hand with your hands comfortable. Perfect, you've got the slates. And over here we've also got a bell. This is just a child's bell or a school bell. Uh, it's important people out there might be thinking it's tricked in some way. It's not, it really is just no, a child's bell. It's like a little bell when you're Yeah, so uh, put out one of your fingers with this hand, just put out a finger. I'm going to dangle that off your finger, and as I said, in a moment your eyes uh, will be closed. Uh, like so, and just curl that into a fist for me so it doesn't fall. Perfect. Now, in a moment, we're going to ask, is there a spirit present? Okay, hopefully something interesting will happen. Now, there's only one of two things that could happen in a moment. If that bell rings, and the idea is that a bell will ring if there's a spirit present, that that bell is either ringing because you're ringing it, or because a spirit's ringing it. They're the only two possible real explanations for this. Sure. Okay? okay, so just look at me. Concentrate and focus on this person. Okay. Whoever they are, take a deep breath in. And out, and just close your eyes for a moment to make sure you hold on to both of those. Actually, close your eyes properly. There you go. Just relax all the way down now. Just relax. And as you focus on this person, focus on who they are, what they mean to you. Immediately, I get a sense from you and a feeling that um, very often people go for their grandparents or perhaps a parent or a relative. You didn't go with any of those. This is a younger generation person. Is that correct? Yes. yes? Okay. I'm sensing that you were very close and bonded with this person. You had a lot of fun times. Uh, I'm not too sure, I'm actually not sure at all whether it's a, a man or a woman, but open up your eyes. Uh, it, does what I just said make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, focus on the bell. Now hold the bell up here. Okay, and in your mind now, uh, I just want you to focus on whether the person's a man or a woman. If there's a spirit present, and if you truly are present, I want you to ring that bell for me now, please. Now, did you ring that bell? No. Well, someone or something rang that bell right there. No, I didn't ring it. <laughs> Oh God, okay. Okay, well, um, focus on the age of the person. Focus on the age. Uh, what age? Oh, uh, are you a man or a woman? Focus on whether the person's a man or a woman. If you're a man, ring the bell for me now, please. Okay, nothing there. If you're a woman, ring the bell for me now, please. So are you thinking of a woman? Yeah. Okay, this is a, a woman. Uh, focus on her age. Yeah. Are you ringing that bell? No. Well, either a spirit's ringing the bell or you're ringing it. Okay. So there you are. No, I'm not. Well, let's just get rid of the bell just for okay. a moment. Uh, focus on this person. Look at me. Um, I'm sensing that this uh, person uh, died quite suddenly, and uh, that impact had a huge impact on your life. I'm sensing that she was also uh, it was a, a girl, and I'm sensing that she died. Uh, she did, I don't know if she had a party, a large party, uh, a significant birthday before she died. Uh, but I'm, yeah. is that correct? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sensing. Some people are knew her by one name, a short version of her name, but you didn't know her by that version. No. But does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sensing she passed when she was 21. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you were very close to this person. Uh, I don't know if you felt anything happening with the slates there while they were in your hands. Did you feel anything happening? No, well, I don't, I'm kind of in shock, so I don't know what's going on. Well, you've had those slates. No, nothing's happened so far. Okay, for the first time, I want you to actually... Well, do you want to name the person out loud or not? That will be your choice. Um, well, I can tell you her name, yeah. Yeah. And her name's Rebecca. Rebecca. And, uh, and she passed when she was 21, so everything that came yeah. out there was correct. Yeah. Well, let's just take a little sneaky look inside here. Because there's writing now where there's no writing before. I want oh you to read that. Oh, my gosh. You can see what it says there. No, like that's not that kind. Of. Oh my god. <laughs> and now that demon is communicating back to the demon that's in the psychic. 
It's a demon hotline. Not a psychic hotline. You have two demons communicating back with each other what the other person is doing. You know, it amazes me when, when these people that go to these seances, and that's where you have a medium where uh, the, this person is supposed to be a contact, in contact with this never-never world. And one of the spirits from some, uh, one of your family members have passed on into this world, and you try to contact them. And it amazes me because then all of a sudden, you know, only Bill would have known that. It's amazing. Nope. The spirits that were around Bill that are familiar with him intimately knew that too. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to go through the book. I want you to select a word, any word you'd like. Don't tell me what the word is. Have a word in your mind. Close the book up. Put it on the table. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to look. I'm going to cover my eyes. All right. Get a word in your mind. Do you have a word in your mind? Yes, I do. You do? Okay, put it over there, it doesn't matter. I want you to see each letter in the word right now. See the first letter here, then go to the second letter, then another, another. You're at an H right now, am I correct? Yes. An H. There is an H. There's an O in there too? Yeah. You see, it's interesting because I believe... <laughs> I'm scared now. What the hell is that? I, I believe people are drawn to certain words, certain things because of what they do, because of their obsession and their passion of their, of their, of, of their life. And your passion is fighting. So you're going to be drawn to a word that's going to make sense with what you do. And you can visualize yourself punching somebody in this area, correct? <laughs> no way, I can't believe it. Oh my god. Mouth. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> is that it? It is, yeah. Oh my god. No way. How the heck did you do that? Visualize the word. In, in that word, there's an N in there, am I correct? Yes, it is. Oh. Conclude? Is that the word? This is conclude. It is conclude. <laughs> Interesting. That's very good. Thank you. I, I didn't talk to anybody beforehand, nor to you. Okay. Well, what if I told you the page 145 and the words that you just saw don't even exist? I would have to uh, not believe you. I just mm. saw them. But we can't always believe our eyes. Well, I wrote them. I just looked at them. <laughs> so you're going to be very good if you couldn't do this. Well, I messengered you a envelope yesterday. Do you have that envelope right now? or? Yep, this so, is the one. It's still sealed. Right. I told you that sometimes you think you see something when in reality it doesn't exist. What was the page number? 145. 145. Why don't you... Uh, Let's get to 145. What, what is it? It was yeah. here a moment ago, but I see wait, wait, something now, is torn away. Now, do me a favor. I'm going to just place this like this. I'd like you to open up the envelope, if you will. Page 145 has been torn out, but it was here all the time I was holding it uh, and talking to you about it, and I'm sure that it didn't leave here. Is that well, that is magic to me, I want to tell you. <laughs> wow. So open up uh, this envelope here. If this is what I think it is. Another envelope. <laughs> Another envelope. Okay. Sort of like what you're wearing up. Yeah. <laughs> Page one. 45! How did you do that? And Let's look! Let's see if it matches. Oh my god! <laughs> I spent 40 years in this business. I mean, I observe and I report and uh, I try to understand and analyze. And I cannot believe it! I was holding it! How did you... How did you get that out of my hands? <laughs> and... It never left my possession. This is one cold case that will not be solved. So.
Wants to watch the Watch the water. I don't know what's going to happen. I just know you're a magician, and so I'm going to let you do what you do. Sounds good. I brought cookies. Okay. Uh, uh, Oreos. That's that's the way to do it. All right. Look at that. You okay. guys are excited. One bag, you, and you're excited. That's right. It's, they don't. There's not enough to go around. Uh, no. But what I'd like you to do, it, it, take a cookie. Just, just take any a one of them. Yeah, go for it. All right. I'll take that one. Perfect. Uh, what we're going to do, I'll I'll show you. Everybody knows how to eat an Oreo, right? Uh, yep. I'll, can I ask you a personal question? Sure. How do you eat your Oreos? Uh, <laughs> I twist it open. You twist it open. It, uh -huh. it goes, it's the, it's the quarter turn like right, this. Right, right. Quarter turn. Uh-huh. Up. Yep. Just like that. Excuse me a minute. That's good. And then there's the people, they exist, who put the pieces back together and they just leave this. I'm not that guy. Watch the cookie. We're going to try something with these two mints. <laughs> I want you to see, uh, we're going to get a good close-up shot. Two mints. This is weird. I want the camera to get a good close-up look at that. Take a look. They actually are mints linked together. Go ahead, tug on them. I am. Yeah, you, can, uh, you can taste it. Wow. That's amazing. Isn't that, isn't that yeah, bizarre? I don't, yeah, blame you. Yeah. I don't blame you for don't not tasting them. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this, is the, this is the really cool part. I want you to see. We'll get that close-up shot again.